Trey a um, little bit more comfortable at the plate. He's playing unbelievable defense. We want to get him work on some things, give him some everyday bats, and, and get him back uh, to him the way we know he's capable of hitting. So um, uh, Jose was hit swinging about really well down Triple A. So we're going to give him an opportunity to come up here and play. He'll play some third base today, but he's played some short and some second. Um, but for today, he'll play, uh, he'll play uh, third base. Pretty good athlete. You know, we watched some videos on him. Um, he moves, he moves fairly well. Um, he can hit. You know, so we're going to give him an opportunity to see what he can do here. What stands out to you about him as a hitter? He stays stays behind the ball, uses his legs really well. Um, he's got some he's got some pop, you know. So uh, you know, definitely could use that in our lineup. For Trey, I know he hasn't looked as comfortable at the plate as of late in spring training. It was the opposite. Why do you feel like it maybe didn't stick for the? Uh, you know, a lot of it. You know, he's got to stay on his legs a little bit better. Um, he he kind of lost that, and uh, you know, for me, I noticed he's really really was trying to pull a lot of balls. In spring training, if you notice, he stayed on the ball really well, hit the ball more up the middle in the right center field, right field. Uh, we want him to get back to that. You know, so he's going to go down there and, and work on some things and hopefully uh, find, find, find the swing again and then um, you know, we'll see if we can get him back up here. He's been going back and forth a couple times this year in his first as a rookie. Just What's the message when you have to send him back down again this late this season? Yeah, you, you, know, you always want everybody to come up here and be successful. Um, but it's, it's part of the game. I told him that, hey, because you have got options, it's part of it. Um, just understand you got to go down there and work to get yourself back up here. Um, and, and I hope to see him back up here. You know, if I if I know Trey, he's going down and work really hard to get back here. When you, I guess when you guys started the year, you had Brady, you guys had Trey in terms of your young guys. Now you have, you have Tena, you have Chaparro. We got a lot. You got a lot. <laughs> How did they change? How did they change no, I mean, look, hey, we, we, we knew coming into the season that this, this could possibly happen. Um, but it gives us an opportunity to see these guys play up here, work with them a lot, um, you know, hopefully get them to understand that, you know, we're, we're, even though you're young, we're here to win ba baseball games, you know, uh, consistently. So, um, but get them get here and get them to get to know everybody and, and uh, you know, know the coaching staff. We get to watch them play, put eyes on them, and, and see where it goes from here. When it's a smaller sample than being able to see someone for an entire year, are there certain things that you look closer at when you know you don't have as much time with them? Oh, we, you know, we're gonna we're gonna treat it as as we do every day. You know, get get as much work as we can with them. Um, w watch them play, watch his antics during the game, um, and see where see where we can help them grow. So, um, you know, they're young. You know, I don't. We don't. You know, I, I got to tell all the coaches today. We just just you know for the next few days, let's watch them. Uh, see how he reacts to different things and different situations, and then uh, and then we'll go from there. Even you guys coming from different organizations, only been this one for a couple of weeks. I guess how long does it take before you start to make adjustments versus just letting him play? I guess at what point do you maybe even start to talk to him? Yeah, we'll, I mean we'll we'll keep an eye on him. I mean this guy, you know, like I said, this guy has a pretty good idea about hitting. Um, we'll watch how how he he works in the field. You know, there could could be little things that we can help him right away with, um, but we want we want to see him play. CJ said he's still working to get the tightness out of his upper back. Not a lot of today, but just what your conversation like with him? Yeah, I talked to him today. He still said he felt stiff. Um, you know, he he didn't he didn't swing the bat. He was just in in the training room. And I said, well, just make sure you get your treatment in. And if later on, if he's available, pinch hit. If it gets better, great. If not, then we'll just keep an eye on it. I mean, um, yesterday he was, he was really stiff. He took took a swing and, and couldn't do it. Uh, today I told him just go get treatment before you do anything. And um, he came back. He said he was still. Pretty, uh, pretty stiff. So I said, okay, we'll just keep you out today, and if tomorrow because of a quick turnaround, you know, if he can, if he can swing the bat a little bit t tonight and, and feels like he could pinch it, then maybe tomorrow, you know, we'll see where he's at. What are you hoping for Jordan to add back to the bullpen? Yeah, no, he, you know, he, he, he I watched him throw the bullpen the other day, and he was throwing the ball really well. So hopefully, uh, the injury definitely, you know, calm down a little bit and get, get back to what he was in the beginning of the year. You know, he's got big outs for us, so. Um, you know, he's going to, he's going to, I told him, he said, you're going to pitch, you're going to pitch in some, some high leverage situations. You know, we need you to step up here. So let's see how he does.